Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We have a week ahead of us. I am so excited. Big things are happening this week. I'm actually going to be picking the stain color for the hardwood floor. Countertops are going in, and I'm sure other things are going to be happening as well. I'm actually starting off today at a hardwood floor supply store to get a couple of stain options. Um, the guy actually prefers a specific stain. He says it's his favorite one, so I'm going to head in, grab a couple quart options, and we can test them out on the ground. So that is where I'm at now. I'm going to head inside, bring you guys with me, and let's see what colors they have. Oh God, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna need this. So here we have some color options, guys. I wish they had the actual wood, like over here. There's like the wood swatches, um, but these are some of the color options that we have. Now, the ones that I'm kind of liking, which I already took a look online, are antique brown. In video form, it looks a little bit more orangey, but I also want to get it with a cool tone, so if I want to, I can mix them. I'm also kind of liking heritage brown. Ebony is nice as well. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this color here, antique brown. It kind of has some of that warmth in it. It's not super dark. I think I'm gonna grab this too. I kind of like this weathered oak color in terms of lighter. It does have a slight yellowish tone. And then I did also opt for um, a more neutral tone, which was a beige color. Let me see if I could find it. This one here is called Something I'm very happy about these is that the heat wave that we've been experiencing in Los Angeles is kind of coming to an end. It's only like 80 out at the moment, which is a lot better than like 108 um, because then it makes it like 92 in here. So I have my stains and I actually think I'm going to go ahead and test the stain colors in the little nook off the living room because it has such even lighting in here. Do you see what I mean? It's like pretty evenly lit. The floor really has no staining here and I feel like it has like a good mixture of wood tones. So I feel like this is a great spot for us to test out our stains. Now I did get five different color options and I'm going to tape a grid off on the floor. I'm probably going to do the darks on one side and then the lights just next to it. All right, so I've seen this done before and I've always wanted to do it. Now, if these tape lines are not straight, do not come for me. I'm just wanting to see the color. Okay, so we have a large square, and I'm gonna divide it, or a large rectangle, divide it into three sections. So this is what we're working with for our stain. And I also picked up a couple of terry cloth rags at Lowe's. I'm gonna grab those, we can mix up the stains and then we're going to test them on the wood. So for our darker shades, I grabbed antique brown, I grabbed dark walnut, and I also grabbed Jac Jacobean, Jacobean. I probably am saying this very wrong. I know there's a special way to pronounce it, but um, I'm not doing it justice. And for light colors, I chose rustic beige and also weathered oak. So those are two options for light and three options for dark. First one I'm gonna do is what I think is the lightest color, which is that Jacobi color. Wow, this color is pretty already. I love. It has more warmth to it. It's just already bringing life to the floor. Like the color before was too cool, almost too gray and like unsaturated. Oh, wow. Okay, all right, so we have, we have our first swatch here and it's honestly stunning. I am very happy that I'm liking the first color already because I feel like that's positive. Um, let's go into our second color, which is going to be antique brown. Vintage brown is a little bit more orangey, I can already tell. Yes, so the vintage brown is definitely more warmer than the Jacobean color, which this one's actually kind of neutralizing a bit as it dries. So maybe this one will as well. And lastly, we have the dark walnut color. Here are our 
for dark stain colors. They look beautiful. Let me pop up a photo of the old flooring. You guys can kind of see how this just brings back some of the depth, some of the life to the flooring. And this was exactly what I was hoping for, just a fresh coat of stain. So now we're going to work on the lighter. And what I also am gonna do is once these dry, I'm gonna put a piece of tape down the center and do a second coat on each on the right side so we can see if the darker is even prettier. But let's go in with our two light shades. This one is literally gray, which is kind of scary. So this is what we are working with with our stain options. Now, on camera, they are appearing darker. These on the right side are definitely a lot lighter in person, but they are extremely similar. Like, I really can't even tell the difference between the two stain colors. Um, these ones, however, I can kind of tell that the middle one's warmer, so I'm definitely gonna opt probably out of this one. It's just a little bit too warm for my liking. I'm actually leaning a little bit more towards this one here. This is called Dark Walnut, and then this one is that Jacobian color, which I feel like in some light can pull green like do you kind of see how there's just green undertone to it so i actually am really liking dark walnut i am going to go ahead and wait 24 hours until tomorrow add another line of tape down the middle of both and apply a second coat so we can see what two coats looks like as well um but yes that is where we are at in my last video i shared with you guys how i stained the window trim and it looks Perfect. So like, no more stain is necessary. I feel like it even got a little darker than when I left, which I assumed it was gonna dry lighter. But I'm actually gonna go through and prepare these windows for painting. Just gonna scrape away any of the excess like stuff that's on the window. There's just like a bunch of excess just crusties that I need to scrape away before painting. Also, a lot of people said that you really don't need to worry about painting vinyl windows if they're interior. Like you only should really worry if they're exterior because they can heat up. Um, so I'm not too worried. For this particular window, the screens are actually on the inside. And so I'm gonna paint these separately. So I'm gonna remove the screens. And then really all we need to do is just tape off the window. Let me check the other. I mean, everything else looks pretty straightforward. Just spray paint this open. I'm also gonna give this a good clean before spraying it. just in case there's any overspray. I don't want it to get all over the raw wood. Our first window is taped off and ready to be painted. Now, of course, we're gonna go in with a primer to start. So this is a primer that I picked up here. I got this at Lowe's. It is the Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. And I picked out this one because it actually is great for high heat. And because these are windows and they're gonna be a darker color, of course, they can attract heat. And that is the main concern with vinyl windows is them warping. So this particular product is a high heat primer meant for resisting up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which hopefully it never gets that hot here, but you know, you never know. We're gonna start off with this though, gonna give it a good coat of that all over the window, and then we're gonna go into our color. I'm also opening up both of these doors uh, just to ventilate the area. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I added a light coat of primer to start. I am gonna go in and touch in just any areas that need a little bit more around the edges, but it does go on this gray tone, and there actually isn't much like residual spray in the air at all, which is really nice. So I'm gonna give this about 10 minutes to dry and then add a little bit more. Our primer's on the window, it is almost dried down, and the color that I actually chose to paint these windows is the Krylon Fusion in Matte Coffee Bean. Now some of you guys are like, Matte Coffee Bean? 
I just opted for a dark brown, which is definitely gonna be a trial. I also picked up a can of black if this does not look good on the window, but I'm having hope that maybe the dark brown won't make the wood trim pop out as much because I feel like once the black is on there, it's gonna contrast with the wood trim and make it look too warm or too orangey, and I'm hoping the brown will neutralize it a bit. So let's give it a go. Windows are drying and I have McKenna, McKenna's here. <laughs> We're actually going to strip a little bit of the mantle. I wanna see what's under here. We are genuinely curious to see yes. what's under. What do you think, McKenna? I don't know why it sounds metal to me. Like it could be a metal like embossed kind of thing. It could be, yeah, I have no idea. Someone was like, it could be tile under there, which I don't think it's tile, but we will give it up. Hopefully something comes off of here. Oh, it's boiling a little. I can't tell. Oh, what the heck? I don't know, I can't tell. I'm not sure. Oh, it's wood. Oh, it's, is it? I think so. Metal. Look, isn't that wood? Oh yeah, that's wood. Yeah, that's wood trim. It's a wood trim piece. And our last and final step on these windows is going to be applying a polyacrylic clear coat. This is a clear matte finish. Um, and I'm going to just be doing one good coat of this over the entire window and then going in over the handle sections and doing a second coat just on the handles just because those are gonna be the only area that's really kind of touched on the window. Gosh, the brown is perfect. I love it. It looks amazing. I absolutely love the dark brown. It's like almost black, but like just has a warmth to it. Like it kind of just blends into the wood of the window a tiny bit more. Uh, and of course, I still have to paint this wall as well. Um, I'm just working on the windows first. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Look how great that window looks. If you guys remember, they used to look like this, just like a plain white window. Now we have the original wood trim, which I restained around the edge. And the inside of the window is the dark cocoa brown color, which I think looks so nice with the window trim. And if you thought I was done with the windows, that is not the case. I still am actually gonna add some panes on the inside of the windows as well, but I'm still figuring out exactly how I'm going to do that, so that'll probably come a little bit later, but let's go ahead and paint our other window.
Guess what today is? We are having the countertops installed this morning. I am so excited about this. Now, the countertops are actually happening in two stages. So we're going to be installing the countertops first, so the ones that actually go on top of the surface here. Then we're doing the backsplash after, and that's just so we can get the proper measurements for the backsplash based off the countertops application. And also the sink is gonna be applied after as well because I needed to order a drain for it, which I ordered, uh, but they have to fabricate the hole for the sink. So they're gonna add that after, build the support for the sink underneath the sink, and pop that in after the countertops are installed. I'm really excited to see the marble in here so I can actually start making some of the other choices in here, like what we're doing on the walls, um, floor tiles, still haven't even selected that. There's a lot of decisions, cabinet color, that have to be made, but I needed to base them off of our marble selection because that is the focal. I do have our faucet here, which I am obsessed with. I'll link it below for you guys. Found that on Etsy, but let's go ahead and wait for them to arrive. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. It's here, the countertops. Where's my marble? I am just, I'm so excited. And there's some more on the other side. <gasps> just so pretty. I think this is the piece for the coffee bar. We have one piece of the counter in so far. They had to cut the wall because it literally was like at an angle and it wouldn't fit in properly. Oh my gosh, guys, they installed a little piece. Look, it's looking so good. My goodness, look what is in. I am so happy I went with the two inch frame in the front so you can see that the marble itself is normally only three quarter inch thick. So we actually added this two inch piece to the front to make it look like a larger slab was actually applied onto the countertops. We have the marble installed and how beautiful does this look you guys? This is crazy to me like I feel like I'm actually an adult at the moment because I've never got to pick something like a countertop before I've got to pick contact paper to put over a countertop but never anything like this look how beautiful these shades of like dark green there's some red tones in there brown there's like this creamy vanilla color as well which I love and just wait because that's just the coffee bar Look at the marble in here. So this is like a dark, dark green Monet veining. It goes into like some red. There's some purple in here. Like I love these little bits of brown as well. And working our way over to the sink area, I'm doing the integrated sink as you guys know. And I shared with you the faucet in the last video. That's what that's looking like, which looks so good. Now the sink is gonna come when they actually do the backsplash and everything else, which is what they templated for today. I think it looks so freaking good. Like look at that, you guys. I know there's a shadow on it at the moment, but I feel like you can get the idea. Oh, and then back here, the two pieces, they did such an incredible job on the front faces as well. Like, it looked like the stone was this thick to start out with. And even like this little detail, this little piece that goes around, that looks so clean and pretty. Wow. I'm picturing darker cabinetry in here for sure. Like this is gonna be our light and bright moment and then we're gonna add darker cabinetry and figure out the rest. It's gonna look so, so good, you guys. I am so excited.
Alrighty, so these are supposed to be darker on the left, but they kind of look similar. I mean, in person, I will say this one looks a little darker than this one. These two look pretty much the same though. Um, these ones are coming off lighter at the moment. So they have a bit of a reflection to them, but I do know that I am gonna go with this stain option for the lower unit. This is the weathered oak color, and it's coming across like so purple right now. The color is really neutral. I wouldn't even say it's like leaning more warm than cool. Like it's very, very neutral, but it's like a super light, taupey, just really pretty wood floor color. You can actually kind of see the difference um, with the main floor. In the actual color. You can kind of just see how it enhances the grain a bit more. I actually really love this color so much. It's coming off on camera so strange though. My phone camera shows it so much better. You can actually kind of see the color there a bit more. Like look how pretty that is. I just feel like it's such a great neutral light floor tone. Thank you guys again for hanging out with me this week on the channel. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, we kind of tested a lot. We made a bit of progress, especially with the windows. Loving the way that those are turning out. We have the countertops in, and I'm so excited to say that the backsplash and integrated sink are actually going to be installed next Wednesday, which is so exciting. So just three days from when this video goes up. So it'll probably be in either a Thursday upload or possibly next Sunday's upload. And the floors, he is going to be back on Tuesday to start staining the floors. So we're doing the lighter color downstairs, darker color upstairs, and I am so excited. And then we can finally start finishing the painting in here. I didn't want to do any more painting progress while the floors are raw, just in case I got stuff on them. So that's why I haven't been painting too much. And I also need to figure out the mantle situation. You guys saw that I was able to find out that it's wood, but I don't love it. Like I want to turn it into like just a plastered mantle, something a bit more simple. But I have a dinner to go to tonight, which I'm so excited about, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!